This is my very first bass, and today we're going to talk about it. So let's get to it. Hey, I'm Jay Doug, and like I just said, this is my very first bass, and I'm about to talk about it. And if you're new here, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. And don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe button and share, comment, do whatever you need to do. So what is this bass? This is a Rogue Series 2 LX205B. That means that this is a five string Rogue that was the Series 2 of this model. Um, it has P pickups in the front and J pickups in the back or P for the neck. J for the bridge. You can get this bass brand new at your local guitar center or from wherever you buy your basses or guitars for around $179.99. So it's a very good cheap Christmas gift for those new players or if you want to get uh, something special for that special person, there you go. So why is this bass so important to me? Well this is the first instrument that I ever owned. This is the first instrument that was put in my hand. So. This was essentially a gateway to where I am now, to where I am in my music career, how I'm growing my music career. It all started, well, it really all started with my father. He was my biggest inspiration, but this bass pretty much started everything else to come after that. I was in the sixth grade and I wanted to join band, but I didn't want to play a brass instrument or play anything else except guitar or bass. I tried guitar when I was younger and I was like, this is super hard, but the band director, he was like, well, he'll make an exception for me so I can play bass. So my dad took me to a pawn shop. I found this bass right on the wall. I said, hey, this bass has to be the one that's for me. And my dad bought it and the rest is history. The main reason why this bass is most important to me is because, like I said, my father bought me this bass and my father, two years after he bought me this bass, passed away. So this bass, is one of the last things that I have that I have to, to remember by him besides the values and the morals that he instilled inside of me. So now we're going to talk about the quirks of this bass. The first thing you can probably notice looking at this bass is the stickers. I treat this bass like a canvas for really stickers that I find that I like, um, stickers for, from people that I've played with before. You can see one of the great guys, Lewis Christian is on here and um, JJ Rochelle, some pretty good guys that I played with here in Austin, Texas. The second thing I'd say you would probably notice is this input. Uh, this input is very um, rigged. <laughs> when I was younger, I dropped the bass and it cracked all of this wood down here. So you can see where they fixed it. And I've never really had a problem ever since. Some paint's missing, so that's, you know, a little thing, but it's an old bass. I'd say the biggest thing that affects this bass, uh, as far as quirk, rock, quirk wise, is the neck. The neck on this bass, I believe, is warped. At least that's what the guy told me when I was younger, when I took it in for a setup, because I was like, why is it playing like this? And that's what he told me. So the neck on the bass is warped. All right, that's enough talking. Let's get a sound test going on. And I believe you'll be able to hear the neck when I say it's warped. So I'm gonna take you guys through the P pickups. So I'm gonna take you through the J pickups, mix them together, get you guys some nice sound demos, let you hear what this bass sounds like. I'm gonna be running it through my Bulgaro Viron tube. I'm gonna have the EQ set directly in the middle. So you'll just be hearing mostly the bass, of course, the preamp, but mostly the bass. So let's hop right into it. Just a quick little reminder, if you're still here watching this video, you like what you see, Give me a like, subscribe, throw a comment on there, share it to your friends. Thank you, J-Dub really appreciates that.
So my final thoughts on this bass, it's it's my most important instrument that I own. It's not my favorite, which might be kind of, you know, it might contradict those two things I just said, um, but it's most important based off the sentimental value of it, the memories from my first gigs with this bass, the first time I ever played live, you know, the simple fact that my dad bought this for me and then two years later he passed away, it it it, it will always have that spot of importance in, in my life. Now, as far as playing and how I use this bass, I like to use it for more solo stuff as you can probably kind of see from the sounds I've been playing, which has all been this bass. Playing in a band is pretty, it's pretty good. It does a fairly decent job, but when you get down here, you know, to those, well, you can really hear that when you're playing with a band, so that's not really favorite unless you're going for that, but most of the time, you know, they don't want that, so this bass doesn't get a lot of gigs like how it used to, but it still holds a very special place in my heart. All right, so if you watch this whole video, I want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, drop a like, give a comment, uh, subscribe, share it with your friends. And um, I can't wait to see you guys again. Thank you so much. This is J. Doug out. Peace and blessings.